Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 25 of this Let's Play Total War Warhammer The Empire Strikes Back. Except currently we are helping Britonia take the city of Artois because they really, really want some beer. It's just what I hear is in Artois. Anyway, um, we are currently forcing the walls. We were about to support the assault on this side because they've actually managed to breach the walls and get inside. However, they then managed to smash these gates in with their trebuchets. So that is what we are now doing. We're trying to blow over here with our mortars, just because that's where the most enemies are congregated. And we are swarming forwards right now with our troops here. And it looks like the Bretonians are doing the same with the Knights of the Realm. However, they lost about half of their Knights of the Realm just kind of sitting out here outside the walls, which was freaking stupid. So it kind of looks like I will be carrying the bulk of this actual fighting now that we're inside. And it does look like most of the Bretonian armies are bowmen. So now that we're in, we're going to be in a pretty strong position to kind of press the advantage here. And I'm just going to give a few orders for my swordsmen to attack the guys actually on the walls. I mean, if my Bretonian ally is going to be mostly cavalry, then they're not going to be able to do very much on the ground now, are they? Sorry, not on the walls. So we're going to be the ones with the infantry armies hitting the uh, the walls. Hit them. Yeah, we're definitely in. They still outnumber us, but not by much. And the general. We'll go after their general. Getting a bit stuck in here. But we're in. It's fine. We are definitely in. It's kind of cool to just see what the other units look like. The difference between these guys. Oh, they just lost one. Compared to ours. Wow, they are losing them rapidly. Because of the enemy towers and stuff shooting. I assume. Uh, let a couple of grenade, uh, bombs there. Yeah, their Knights of the Realm have really pushed into the city now. We just need to push up on the walls and finish their bowmen off. We've almost evened this up again. Our Lord is under attack, yet yeah, that is very much intended. Um... Let me push these guys across a bit more to support over here. I think we should. They will then be in range of these towers, unfortunately, having already isolated these ones from any enemies. Let's keep on pushing. Oops, no, don't do that, do that. Keep moving, guys, keep moving. That is imperative. actually capturing some of these towers. They're going to start firing on our side. Like, for our side, not on our side. <laughs> it looks like we're pushing them into this end of the, the town. Not entirely sure why. Okay, just pushing the assault here, just pushing, 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 pushing. That's all we can really do is keep pushing. Are we in the gate? Yeah, we've got through that gate too. Um, so what I'm going... No, not the guns, the crossbows. We're going to get on top of this hill, this wall here. And that will allow us to shoot down. And with the outriders, we'll just go inside and start shooting stuff. Are you lot are still shooting out that if you can. I kind of doubt you can, but you can try. Yeah, we're definitely winning now. We have got them running like hell away from the walls, and we just need to keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Yes, 
Why is that gate not opening? It's ours. Bizarre. Oh, hello, General. You should be over here, shouldn't you? Alright. Are you the... Which General are you? Are you the one with the duff arm? I don't remember. Yeah, Gustav von Blount, I think, is the, like, General General, not the fighty General. So I don't want you close up. It's still able to shoot, eh? Not anymore, though. We're about to start bombing our own troops. Yeah, you have just done way more damage to our own men than you could have done to them. Let's push the advantage. And just shoot them. We serve the Emperor! In fact, you know what I should do is I should move you down here, press F, and have you charge down here and just hunt these guys down. You'd actually be able to catch them. Meanwhile, these guys fight the guys who are actually putting up a fight down here. Much better. Are they actually retreating? Interesting. Hmm, okay. I didn't realise that was actually a retreat route. Yeah, this this war is over. We have won. Huzzah! Well that was going very, very wrong and then suddenly we took the gate and it went very, very right. Close victory, yeah, because some imbecile was parking knights right outside of the gate. Unless it was the knights that was actually hitting the gate. I don't know if that's the thing. Oh, my mor mortars did well. 140 kills between them. Did you even use your arch? Oh, no, that's Yeah, your archers didn't have a great day. I expected them to do a lot more than they actually did. I lost 200, you lost 500. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Arr. You wouldn't have won that if you if you hadn't had me here. Get some loots. Cha-ching. Anything else? Nope. Uh, we'll take the money. I don't think I really need the casualty replenishment. We have taken out Artois. Good. Oh yeah, now we're at war with Paravon. Moussillon is attacking Bastogne, and I will help Bastogne against Moussillon. Weapon gain, Runefang. Really? What did I do to get that? I didn't have a uh, guy up in Nordland. Huh. Artois has been obliterated. Interesting. All right, well, let's go and find Karl Franz and have words. I am Prince and Emperor. Uh, weapon. You now have Runefang. Splash attack power, armor piercing, and weapon damage. How does that compare to... Sword of the Antiheroes? Ah, 22, 18, 16. 16, 18, 22. So, Antiheroes does more pure weapon damage. Oh no, it's the same. Armor piercing 18, armor piercing 18. Splash attack 16. Splash attack 16. However, this also does plus 5 melee. Oh no, that's that. Plus 5 melee attack. This one doesn't. Last 18 seconds, lasts 12 seconds. So this lasts longer, but it has a longer cooldown. I actually kind of prefer the uh, Sword of the Antiheroes. Because it has the uh, bonus melee attack and bonus weapon strength. This doesn't. Oh, I'll just give Runefang to one of the others. I'll give it to Balthazar. Uh, do I want to give it to Balthazar? Probably not, actually. Okay. No one's using that ward save. So yeah, let's go and have a look at Balthazar before we do anything else. Bye. You need 
a weapon. I'm not going to give you any of those. He is already wearing that. You can have the ward safe though. It's anti-magic. No talisman. No arcane item. No mount. Any followers or banners? You can have the tax rate. And that would appear to be all. Because all the others have already been given away. Do I want any others? I could probably do with the experience. France doesn't tend to recruit much himself. He just gets them from other armies. You could have a banner though. Which would allow you to nip in and out of fights far more easily. Um, yeah, France doesn't really need it. I can see you needing it more. And then the Winds of Magic Power Reserve, yes. And... Campaign Movement Range. Uh, not that one, that one. The other stuff he will keep. Transmuter, hero recruit rank plus two for battle wizards in the local province. So I want to grab new wizards while I have Balthazar Gelt here. Um, so let's do that. Recruit hero, battle wizard. Oh, you can choose them on the left panel. So we have a light wizard, which we already have. A bright wizard, who is irres irres irresolute. Which, that's not actually a bad bonus. Having the speed bonus on a wizard is quite nice. Magnanimous. More income from buildings, that's pretty good. Sanguine. That's a celestial wizard. So I kind of like the idea of having a bright wizard. What do you want of me? What do you want? It. You do just have the construction cost thing. I serve no master. Yeah, you do. You serve me. Uh, yes, I would like to upgrade your fireball spell, please. Um, burning head, strong versus multiple units, damage, magic and fire, large moving area of effect. Plus 22% missile weapons, plus 22%. Well, that's quite nice. Nice buff. That's a nice defensive buff. And that gives you flame weakness? Interesting. So you could do that. Oh wait, that's a... Hex. Hexes are just done around you, aren't they? Yeah, it's constant. So everything around him takes 12% more flame damage. Hell yeah. Nice. So that combined fireball, kabloom, kaboom, splat, kasmush, kasmoosh, squish, and all the other squishy noises. Right, we are running a little bit shorter on money now, so we need to continue our advance into enemy territories. Yes, my lord. Uh, you leveled up, and you were the military heritage, so you are better when attacking, so you want to be offensive, Mr. Castellan Engineer. So, I am thinking you probably want something like full plate, which means you can actually fight more. And then I think we're probably going to have to park you in uh, the home territory so you can recover, because you lost most of your army. And you could do with some reinforcements and replenishment, so Sigma let's head you back this way. And just hide you over here so you can get some more replenishment. There, it's actually quite a big difference. Summon the elector counts. And then Carl Franz, you can go into movement stance. They will obey. And head over this way so that we can go and take find off, and then we'll have to go through Averheim to get to the moot. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at forces. Yeah, a couple of you have leveled up. You are grabbing these. You wanted the Restorer because that increases replenishment. And... Ooh, the wizard leveled up. Good. Level 8. Does that mean you can get a horse yet? No, level 9. Next level! Sigmar's Ward. Missile resistance 10%. That's pretty nice, considering how much damage missile weapons have been doing.
And oh, we can get evasion too. Yeah, we want evasion because it increases your speed and acceleration, so you can get away from fights and into better positions and stuff. So yes, we definitely want that. Okay, and then next level you'll be able to get a horse, which will be a big bonus. Meanwhile, Mr. Treasurer over here also leveled up. Now you are the one-armed man on you. Yes, you are. So you are the high leadership, so you definitely want inspiring presence, so you can use that leadership. Sorry, you get even more leadership, so people are less likely to run. And you are my battlefield commander. So the treasurer is the commander, the other one is the uh, frontline soldier. Okay, that's what I need to remember. Who are we at war with? We're at war with Mussolini again. Bastone and Bretonia absolutely love me. Uh, Bretonia doesn't. It quite likes me, but doesn't love me. Alright. Are you in a position to advance? You kind of are. So let's go down here and see what we see. Onwards! Onwards! That is a lot of soldiers. Never. I refuse. Huh. That is an awful lot of soldiers there. I'm probably going to have to call in reinforcements, but I'm currently fighting on two rather large fronts. Let's just have a quick look at this. Yeah, I'm fighting all of this down here. And Mussolini. So I think what I might do is pull back and then hopefully Bastone can do well. Or I might pull back and then play more defensively down there. That's probably a better plan. Meanwhile, we attack here from the right and then kind of move round. I would have liked to have taken more of the Empire. How? Hmm. Both of those are super, super friendly. It's just Avaland that we're not particularly friendly with. So we could attack them as we're moving through here. Avaland controls. Drum roll. These two. It's more land. And that would mean that we control this entire area. In fact, we would then be able to get to the moot as well if we went through Avaland. And that would allow us to control this entire southern area. And this kind of northeastern area is the only one that we don't control. Uh, which we would need to get through to tobacco land and... Um, Ostmark. Now I wonder if I can get either of you to join my confederation yet. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. You would take an alliance, which I'll take. Uh, you want me to join the war against Kislev? Are we now allied? Yes, we are now allied. I'll accept. No, we're not allied. Oh, you bastard! So you called me into a war and then refused the alliance. Ah, and Tabakland. A treaty with the vampire counts. I don't have a treaty with the vampire counts. I'm at war with them. Well, not them. I'm at war with Musselon. Approach us, friend. Ah, join. Aha! Chance of success high. Ho ho ho! And that is how you expand, like, significantly. Now, I do unfortunately have a massive border with Kislev, so I'm at war here, here. I'm at war on three fronts. Fantastic. Well, Skraelings are still alive. Somewhat surprising. I thought the uh, Chaos Hordes would have dealt with them by now. So it's just Oslund who is holding out. Greetings, my countrymen. You so come you in peace to on this fine mark, Moderate. Tag? Oh, that's the Alliance. No, I want the... Confederation, but you're not going to do it. Okay. So we are now at war with Kislev. Well, that was that was a that was a good good turn. <laughs> huh? How the hell am I going to defend this area? It does give me access to the moot, though. Now, I'm not actually at war with the vampires; they're just there. So I'm going to need to start worrying about corruption over here. Um, 
yeah, this the entire area is going to have corruption problems. And that's probably where, like, public order and the like becomes more of an issue. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, then please do hit that like and subscribe button. They're very much appreciated. And it really does uh, contribute to the uh, growth of this channel, so know that. If you have any tips or advice for me, then please do let me know in the comment section below. I do try and read and respond to pretty much everything there, so keep them coming. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.